Hey guys, Sarah Ansberry here, and we are continuing with the subscriber questions, which I absolutely love, and you absolutely can keep sending us more questions. Uh, we also have a lot of you with the same questions in different ways. So uh, this one I really like. I come across it quite a bit, and what are the best strategies for covering the middle? Uh, forehand versus X strategy, and then uh, covering when your partner gets taken wide off the court. So... Um, First thing I want to stress is why do we get pulled wide off the court, okay? The number one reason why players get pulled off wide is because they're shuffling too much or they're too close to the middle, okay? So at your base look at it, this cone, from this cone to this cone, that's considered the middle of the court. This is also important in recognizing court coverage, okay, uh, on where a ball is coming from, okay? If, um, if we hit a ball down the middle, the most likely shot is it's coming back down the middle, okay? So if I'm really in my position, this is kind of my home base, okay? If the ball is in front of me, my body's facing this direction, so it's a pivot this way and it's a pivot this way, okay? My partner doesn't need to worry about what I'm doing, okay? She needs to worry about holding her own space. And, uh, and what I always think is you've got to worry about your own 10 feet before you're concerned about your partner's 10 feet, okay? Now what we're looking at, let's say the ball is on this side of the court. The mistake that most players make is they're shuffling over here and they're compact in this space. So now when that ball comes over here, I'm now pulling myself out wide and out of position. Is that my partner's fault? No, that's my fault. I did that, okay? I'm the one that's out of position. So what's important is if I'm in the correct position, the ball's over here, my body, my hips, and my paddle are facing this direction. So when the ball comes to this outside, what I want to do is cut the ball off. I don't want to be way over here trying to chase the ball because now my partner's like, well, what should I do? What should I cover? All that. So the important thing there is if I find myself coming out to this ball, so let's say my toes turn this direction, the only way that I can really help my partner is I now have to reset, hit a soft dink to this quadrant of the court. So now it's in front of my partner. Now what happens a lot is this person is so worried about coming back to the middle they end up pushing the ball cross court or trying to reset down the middle. So if I do that, that puts our opponents into an open opportunity to attack us and get us in trouble. Okay, So it is ideal that you're paying attention to where your partner is. If my partner gets pulled off a little bit, yes, I want my weight over here and I want to pay attention. But what I really need to pay attention to is where is my partner hitting the ball? Hey, that's what dictates where it's coming back to me. Hey, so if my partner's trying to hit a hard cross court ball over that way, that's going to be extremely difficult for them to do, and it doesn't put us in a good position. So that is a big one. Uh, positioning, positioning, that's what creates the ability to cut off the corners. I don't want to be chasing those balls in the corner. I want to learn to cut those off for the sake of myself as well as the sake of my partner. Okay. Now what we're looking at, the second part of that question is um, covering the center. Are we looking at the person who has the forehand? Are we looking at every ball that comes from here is my ball? Uh, I will say I am not a huge fan of the X. And the X for a lot of people is if the ball is coming from that angle, it's always my ball. If it's coming from there, it's always my partner's ball. The problem with that is where is the poaching? Where is the ability to put pressure on my opponent? What puts us in that situation? So if I'm really in this position with my partner and this ball is over here, okay, I want April as my partner. She's got that forehand. I want if she can cut off one of these balls, I want it, I want it, I want it. That's what creates pressure and opportunity. So we are looking at a little bit of the angle somewhat, okay? However, the reason that forehand person is so dominant is it is 10 times easier for this person to come in and take that ball and push it this direction, this direction, or this direction. Most players really struggle taking this backhand anywhere but up the middle or out wide. So it does create a little bit of confusion. Um, if I've got this ball and I'm dinking cross court, okay, often in my brain, I'm like, how do I get my partner involved? So if she's kind of like, okay, well, it's there, so every ball is hers, 
There's no chemistry. There's no positioning involved in that. So being aware that, yes, a lot of these balls are mine. Let's say if I put the ball uh, in the middle and it's coming back middle, I have to be aware that maybe I should cover that ball. Hey, you can't forget momentum for sure. Okay, uh, if I've hit three or four balls and I'm going in for the next one, it makes sense for me to take it and not for my partner to just come in and stab at it and vice versa. If my partner has started to do a lot of work and they're in rhythm, honestly, half of my job is to stay out of the way. I don't need to enforce myself on my partner if they have the momentum of the court. But here is the easiest way to solve the problem. Call the ball. There's no ifs, ands, or uts about, uh, buts about it. Okay? I get it that a lot of people aren't used to doing it. Calling the ball in the middle is so unbelievably important. It solves so many problems. Okay? The last thing I want are two of my players letting a ball go down the middle and then looking at each other like, well, was that your ball or was that my ball? Okay, uh, when in doubt, yes, the forehand is extremely important to recognize that coverage because they have more options. Okay, uh, but simply put, if I place a ball in the middle, okay, it's often my responsibility to now hit the next ball in the middle because I have the momentum. Okay, it's easier to recognize that. Okay, now on the grand scheme of things, remember. If I place a ball on the outside quadrant instead of the middle quadrant, it is a lot more difficult for my opponents to pass us down the middle. The mentality should be, I don't need to worry about covering the middle. It should be, I want it in the middle because it is an opportunity that I have. I don't care if that ball goes down the middle every so often. I got to want it. I got to want it. Okay? I can't think of that as a negative thing. Okay, I am sure there will be a hundred more questions on this because we haven't got through them all and we will find more ways to make this uh, another lesson, another sample for you.